So I just arrived in Santorini. I caught the ferry from Mykonos to Santorini and then the bus from the port to Fira and then another bus from Fira, Fira to Oya. Yeah. I'm staying in Oya. Yeah which is like the capital sort of area you want to be in it's obviously a walk to my hotel i was walking and i saw so many bus stops and i was like i bet i bet there was one right outside bus stop cobblestones just just what you need just what you need okay so i just arrived in the room and this one out of my whole trip um, Santorini was the hardest to find a place. I mean, it's not like I booked super last minute, but I booked relatively last minute. And I just could not find a room. This was pretty much the only one I could really find that was decent. So, it's not, out of all of them, it's the ugliest to say. It's not ugly, but you know what I mean? It's like the least luxurious out of all of them. So, this is the room. Um, the little kitchen. This is the bathroom, this basic, it looks like there's two little single beds, cute, um, a little vanity, but the view. That's the main town, while it looks far away, it's only 20 minutes walk, so fine by me, and that's obviously the ocean, the sky. I've just gotten ready, I've just put on this cute little jumpsuit that I wore this I think on my 23rd birthday. And I love it. It's so, I had to come to Greece. It's from Seed. It's like old, obviously. It's got this beautiful like design and then little pom-poms. Although I will say, definitely much tighter than it used to be. I'm getting it like when it's sitting on, it's fine. It's a little tight up here, but this is fine. But getting it off, I can barely get it on. There's a drone above my head. And I don't care there's a drone above my head. It's just, it's just making me a bit mad and cranky because I couldn't get mine to lift off the ground like 20 centimeters this morning. Actually, 20 centimeters is a stretch. It was like 10 centimeters. Who owns the drone? Because it's not that I'm mad at you. I just want you to teach me how to use it so I can use mine too. Insert drone shot here if I have one. But I don't have one. very sandy and dirty path. I can already imagine my, the soles of my feet are probably black. I do not recommend walking this track if you're looking like really cute, going to dinner or you know, whatever it is. You will be dirty. I mean, I'm not precious, so I don't mind. I'm so dirty. <laughs>
the bloody journey oh my gosh i finished dinner and i looked at the bus timetable and i was like you know what i just want to go to sleep i can't be bothered walking i just want to get back so let's catch the bus and the bus was coming in like three minutes i was like perfect like i'll run i ran made the bus hopped on looked on the map because you know we discussed the bus stop right there anyway i'm like following on the google map and the bus driver takes a weird turn. Mind you, if you look at the map, I'm gonna put the map right here. It's, there's just one road for the most part. It's literally just a loop. Instead of coming up, he went down the other side of the island. And I was like, I hope he's gonna turn. Anyway, he did not. He literally just went from Oya, the main town, to Fira, the other main town. I traveled 25 minutes away. Talking to them, I was like, well, what happened? Because there's a bus stop, I know there's a bus stop right outside my apartment. There's a bus stop. And they were like, oh yeah, it's uh, one part is one way, so we don't go that way. So if you want to go to Oya, you can go to Oya, but if you want to come back, you cannot. You have to do a massive loop. Anyway, so I had to catch the bus again, waste another bus ticket to come all the way back here. Luckily, he stopped for me and I got out and it was literally, I'm not even joking, not exaggerating, one hour round trip. I literally did the island. I could have walked in 20 Good morning. Minutes. I feel like I look 20 years older today and I don't know why. I think I'm just tired. I slept like a baby though. I really just hit the pillow, which never happens. I'm a bad sleeper. And I just fell asleep and I drank hard and I was like fighting not to wake up, but I woke up. Anyway, it is probably about 8.45, 8.46, right on schedule. 8.46, I, I mean, first look at the view. I'm going into town early this morning, which is not that early. It's as fast as I can go. I'm gonna walk into town and try and get a picture or a TikTok done. There's a particular TikTok that I've wanted to do for months. If you wanna get pictures and you wanna do things like that, you need to go in the morning. So even though I'm on the later side of the morning, I'm just gonna go see what the vibe is in the morning because tomorrow I want to like get the early so I can take pictures because you just cannot take pictures at sunset in the afternoon, there's just too many people. You hire the photographers, all the pictures are done in the morning anyway. We're walk into town right now and then from there we're gonna go straight into Fira, that place that we ended up last night unnecessarily, which is the capital city of Santorini. And apparently there's so many more shops, it's just like, it's just a great area to go explore. And I just looked it up, they have a Sephora so I can get some bloody shampoo and conditioner. Because while our last place had the shampoo conditioner combined, this place has soap, shampoo, conditioner combined. Mm -mm. It is not, it is not. This is definitely the time to come. It is 9.15 and there's not many people out. Centurini is known more for the sunset. This side is on the west side. Sunset sets, sun sets in the west. Is it? Sun rises in the east, sets in the west. Yes, that's correct. But at the end of the day, you just need golden hour. So. If it's sunset, it's the hour before sunset. If it's go if it's the morning sunrise, it's the after off the more the hour after the sun rises. So the sun has been rising about seven. So I'd say seven thirty, eight thirty is like your ideal time anyway. Even now, it's it's beautiful. It's very golden still, if I do say so myself. I just got to Fira, I don't have an agenda. The only agenda I have is conditioner. Besides that, I'm just gonna walk around. I'm starting to get hungry, so it's 11. I will try and wait till about 12 so I can have some lunch. But yeah, let's see what this is all about. Been to Sephora, picked up some other stuff as well probably didn't need but wanted to try there are these bags that i'm looking at well a bag but i'm trying to decide between the two but it's definitely an investment and it's definitely pricey so i'm just thinking about it and i went to another shop and they had pretty much the same one but obviously it's a dupe for much cheaper but anyway it wasn't as nice i didn't bring my walking shoes but i'm pretty sure this is there's about 600 steps that go all the way down and if you don't want to walk up you can catch the cable car. I'll probably go down and see how I feel about going up. 
just to see what it's like down there. I just got a water, I'm ready to go. But I just did look it up. There are mixed reviews because one, it's very slippery and I'm wearing thongs so it's probably not ideal. And two, it smells and you might step in poop because there's a lot of donkeys on the path. So I'm just gonna have a go, be careful. If it gets too much, then obviously stop. But can you stop halfway? I don't think so. But definitely catch the cable car up as far as I know at this point. But just be careful. I would ideally say wear joggers and not wear a dress where sweat stains are gonna come through. But you know, it is what it is. We're just gonna do it and carry this heavy bag. Okay, tips for you so far. Don't wear a maxi dress. Don't wear thongs. I've tried to pull up the dress. Just a little bit. Can you hear that? That's the donkey. There is definitely donkey shit. And oh, being really? careful. Oh, here they come. Hey, buddy. Oh. Oh. Okay, bye. Definitely making progress. Taking it slow and steady. Watching out for shit. Um at this point I feel like it's a doable thing. Um you're probably I'd say halfway definitely sweating but if you're just careful because the cobblestones like I said are very slippery much here it doesn't look like kind of just a few souvenir shops some food and then a port for the boats so I'm gonna head back up oh, yes yeah, so I'm just gonna jump in <laughs> I paid my ticket so why not time for your daily ice cream dose well it's sorbet today Passion fruit sorbet. So I'm like still feeling that bag and they're all different. So it's not like I can find the same one over here. They'll all have different styles, but I want to see what styles they have. Like I'll put it here. I was trying to decide which one. And I think I like the smaller one, um, which happens to be more expensive. Which totally makes sense. But this, I like the smaller one. It definitely helped to learn you can get a tax rebate. A little Sephora haul. Oh, I got this mask. Coconut hair sleeping mask. I had to get a new eyebrow pencil because mine is having the last day of its life right now. We are really running low and I just got a Sephora one. I've never used the Sephora one. I usually always have the Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, but this looks fine. I got it in chocolate brown. This was, I don't know, right? there was no need for me to buy it. I have a mask. I brought face masks with me and I haven't used them. But this just looked really cool. It's like a mask stick. Oh, it's soothing. If you can see it. It's really glittery, shimmery, purple. Obviously, they're around, but they're always in a palette, and I just want a single pot. Hi. All dressed up. Welcome to the red dress. <laughs> I keep like hitting that. It's really cute. Um, a little short because I hemmed it that way. It was just a very awkward length when I got it. I have to say, I used the new Sephora eyebrow pencil and yeah, I suck at doing my eyebrows. I really know that. But I'm not gonna lie, I think it's better than the one I've been using for years, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it's half the price. Just saying. These are, I got probably five years ago, five, six years ago. I think I need to get them resold as in like the saw redone. But anyway, how bloody fun are these sandals? And they're gonna go just great with this dress. I definitely flooded the bathroom so it's a towel. 
just a bit of a thought. I don't know if this is true, if the sunglasses expanded in the plane or what, but a week ago before I left, a few days before, these sunglasses were so tight and it, as soon as I put them on, it just gave me a headache. It just was no good. I was like, damn it. I even went to my optometrist and asked them to extend it, but they're like, no, oh, it's too cheap, we'll just break. I was like, I get it, no worries. Also, go to get them off Amazon. They're so good. I got this pair and the tortoise shell pair. They were like $13 for the two pairs, love it. Brought them still, I don't know why. My face must have like been bloated or something. For, I don't know, but it was shrunk down now because it fits fine. The bags are back. These are the style I've been looking at and very much obsessed to say the least. Very much obsessed. <laughs> oh my God. Out of the oven. Just walking home now. I've got my leftover salad and my water and ready to Good go. Good morning. Down. Same look as last night coming through because remember tonight, not tonight, this morning is photo morning oh, sorry i'm just gonna put you here i was deep sleeping last night like i was i had so many dreams like i caught this massive fish with my brother and i think we actually when i say caught i think we bought it from walmart it was the biggest thing um scott cam was there he was helping me fly my drone um i became friends with martha hunt uh, the girl, the actress from the 2000 2000s sitcom, My Wife and Kids, Claire. I was hanging out with my friend, Ariana Grande. I feel like well. we have enough in the long dress, we need to change. I may or may not be changing right outside of church. Ready. Just walking through the alleys trying to find the right spot. It's nearly 10 o'clock now. It is hot, I'm sweating. Thank you. So I got a call on my way back from the boat people. We're going on a boat tour today. And they said that because of extremely strong winds in the south, we can't visit those islands. So they're picking me up later than expected. So I was meant to be picked up at quarter to one, but now they're picking me up at 2.20. Um, so it means we have some extra time. So I'm just sorting some of stuff out, packing-ish for tomorrow, tomorrow I leave, and charging up device Is about it? ready to go. This is the look. I'm just wearing my red bikini already. Um, just just standard what I've been wearing the whole time while wearing a bikini underneath. Um, I've put on a red bandana, wearing the brown sunglasses, done some two little plaits. My hair's just out. I will definitely bring a scrunchie because it probably will need to be tied up at some point. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much ready to go. I took my makeup off because we are, for the most part anyway, we're going on a boat. And if mascara starts running, then ugh, it's an, a nightmare. But this, I love this stuff. I use this a lot. And it's CC cream, um, but it's got SPF 50. And it's like, it's full coverage, which is insane because it's CC cream. 
and it just really comes down the redness so i just put some of that on because you know that's cool summer fridays everything summer fridays honestly they i just saw on instagram a few minutes ago they've just released a new product i'll be like yeah when i'm back i'll buy it mm. i will take this i talk about this so much every vlog i swear every vlog I, i'll put it below everyone needs to have it it's the super cool glow stick i don't use highlighter i use super Coop and it's 50 plus as we have 50 put it on your whole body and it's it's, it's incredible thank you Hello. supposed to get, be there 916 so just walking I was just thinking about signs though thinking how tonight can you see it that is the moon that's not a light that's the moon it's so intense it is a full moon tonight it's the 20th you know I'm all about those signs is it coincidence that someone recommended a bar that's pretty much next door Maybe. Did I plan on going out right now? No. But do great things sometimes happen when you don't want to do something? Yes. This is my wife. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This is uh, the designer's uh, idea to have Goddess Athena okay. inside all of your butt. Goddess Athena from the ancient Greek mythology. She represents women's strength and passion. Okay. So. She's an artist, the designer, Lila Karayani. So she decided to have got the Safina inside the bag, something unique. Something well, we got the bag, we got ice cream for dinner, and we're making good time. I don't know if I said, when I arrived, I asked when was the last bus, and they were like half an hour. So I've had 30 minutes to buy the bag, pop into the bar, obviously I didn't get a drink, so just pop my head in get my ice cream and it's 10 18 so we're doing really well another 12 minutes Ooh, that's my strap just the back everything's a mess this is dinner but we have to be careful because <laughs> that's salty and we only have this much water i really struggle with this water thing because i can drink like a camel and i have been drinking lots of water but when it comes to moments like this where it's 11 o'clock at night and I only have this much, where am I gonna get water? Nowhere, this Good is morning. morning. I have to wash, well not wash, but wet down my hair. It was just too, too thick, just too thick. So I just had a shower. So my ferry today to go to Milos is at three, which means I have to be there about two. I can be there a bit later because I've already checked in. I was gonna catch the bus, which meant I had to catch the bus from here to the stop in Ia, and then from Ia to Fira, and then from Fira, Fira to the port. Um, but I just couldn't work out the times. They just weren't very clear with the bus times from Fira to the port. And I was like, I was, from what I could see online, which was nothing, I was either going to be super early or super late. So I was like, it is just too much effort. I'll just catch a shuttle if it's affordable. Unfortunately, things, they don't like when it's a single person. There were so many shuttles I was trying to book and they're like, oh, sorry, minimum of two people. I'm like, well, I'm not two people and I'm not paying double the trouble. Let's talk about our new bag. This is the one I went with. You didn't see already. It wasn't clear already. My first choice. It's just like, it's so fun. It's really, oh, this view is incredible. This 
walking back. My transfer comes in about 50 minutes, but I have to head back early because I told the I told my place that you know can I leave my bags? They're like, yeah, yeah, leave them, just leave them, no worries. And they messaged me while I was having breakfast saying, We're so sorry, we forgot to tell you, leave them in reception. We need to clean the room. So I was like, okay, I'm coming back as soon as I can. I'm bloody exhausted. <laughs> I can barely walk this. I feel like it's hotter today and just like slower. Like even most of my walk. I used to be able to speed through this, but that's alright. We're just slow and steady. Yeah, charging my phone. I think it's time to go. Ten minutes before the bus gets here. I mean I just have to walk down there, but I'd like to be early when people are relying on you. So going to head down in a minute and say goodbye to Santorini. Sad day. But Milos is happening and my friend has just been in Milos for her honeymoon and I just messaged her this morning. I was like, tell me everything and she's given me a whole list. So I've been planning out what I'm gonna do.